there, here are the disclaimers. Please enjoy. Uh, hand. 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 Uh, do I grab the hand? Is that something I do? Beautiful dream. What's your name? Uh, my name. It's Lion. My, my. Isn't it lovely? May I have... No, I do not trust the Fae. No, as, as hot as they may be, I do not trust the Fae. No. No? Well, I am a stranger after all. So, let's be friends. Meeting new faces means knowing new names. When you are ready, sweetheart, I'll give you mine. In the meantime, I'll make sure your dreams will be wonderfully savored. Come, I have so many things planned for us. So many wonderful baked treats, games we could play, and worries to forget. We're gonna have so much wonderful fun. <laughs> I even have a gift prepared just for you. It's always fun when we have guests here. It gets lonely with my only self. So, until then... My sweet darling, will you dream for me? Okay... Uh. Five stops before your final destination. Ah! You took a breath as the plane flushed over your body as it involuntarily shakes. The sounds and movements of the bus made you feel nauseous. Wait. Bus? Ah, I am in a bus. Why are you even here in the first place? Before you could question any further, your phone begins to vibrate as a map flashes on screen. The destination was mapped to your home address. Likely staring at your phone, you start to piece everything slowly together. That's right. I'm heading home. You were relieved that you weren't in any danger. But your head began to throb, reminding you of another problem you had to deal with. With a frustrated groan, you dug into your backpack to find your painkillers before checking back with your phone. This wasn't the first time something like this happened. Lately, you've been falling asleep in public, causing way too much worry for your grandparents and friends. It's gone to a point where they had to ask you to put a shared location app just so they knew you were okay. You didn't understand or have any reason to find as to why you were suddenly narcoleptic. Only thing you could excuse for this was the stress of university crawling under your spine. The amount of projects and many assignments drowning your thoughts every day might have caused something. You tilted your head back and gulped down your painkillers as a small sigh leaves your lips before looking out the window. A blur of trees whizzes on by as the sun flashes in and out of sight through the silhouettes of the forest. It also didn't help that you lived in almost the middle of nowhere either. The amount of times you got lost during your walks home because halfway you start to daydream. Then suddenly, stumbling at getting lost as you panic like a child that couldn't find their mom at the grocery store. If it wasn't for your phone and thankfully having some sort of service, you might have probably died out here by now. Hopefully you'll find your way back home without little old Wonderland distracting you this time. Two more stops before your final destination. You tap the screen as you pulled out your earbuds from your pocket, gently swiping through your light playlist. No, no, tired of that one. You kept swiping until finally. You couldn't remember why you had this song on your playlist, but you always found it somewhat comforting. It was calming and upbeat, yet it always felt like there was something sorrowful underneath those notes. You made it to your destination. You hopped off the bus as you made your way to a beaten pathway that led you to the entrance of the woods. I live in the middle of the woods? 
The trees were like forest giants guarding your path home while you walked past them, like a terrified little mouse. As much as you love nature, everyone could agree that anything bigger than themselves is terrifying. As if the woods could sense your fear, the faint echoes of wildlife start to flutter around the trees along with a distant river flowing by, calming your nerves. Even the sun playing a little game of hide and seek as you felt its warm light grazing upon your skin before vanishing into the shade. There was so much, yet so little happening around you, yet a tranquil-like peace could be felt in your soul. An odd place to be living in. It was better than living in the city where all the noises were cars and people arguing over the smallest of things. Besides, the city life didn't sound like your thing and the only reason you go back there was because you had university and all your friends were there. If only they could have the time to hang out, but mostly these days everyone is trying to make ends meet. So as much as you loved your friends, living on campus with one was a horrifying experience. One time you almost got mugged and they pretty much ran off without you, leaving you to deal with the thief. He felt bad for you, so he almost gave you his own stolen goods so you could feel better. <laughs> that was a lie. He just ran off after the cops came. Your friends did come back and apologize, saying they were so scared they forgot to drag you with them. Your grandparents, on the other hand, were pretty much livid at the situation and gave you a more suitable place to stay. As if... If it weren't for them letting you live in their old cottage, you'd have also had to deal with the living expenses of reality as well. Paying off your debt for your education took a lot out of your bank account, let alone only work at a gas station that paid you merely enough for groceries. You clapped your hands together before a single tear leaves your eye. Let me be a cat in another life. I don't want to do this anymore. Don't ask for that. I mean... You, you'll end up in a really hilarious, uh, cat-themed anime. Probably in the fantasy world. Sniff. As you got deeper into the woods, your mind started to wander. You had a weird dream today. A hand reaching out, asking for your name. You ignored its request, not knowing why it wanted your name. Or did you want to deal with it any more than you wanted? Even though it was asking so politely, you just felt like you shouldn't trust it. You should not trust the Fae, especially if they ask for your name. Uh, like, if they ask what is your name and not, like, if they could have it, that's probably fine. I don't know. I don't know. There's only one Fae I trust, and that is Kate. Okay, uh, link to her Twitch is in the description, by the way, if you want to, if you want some cozy vibes. Well, as cozy as they can get. Anyway, uh, let's see. Just why were your dreams so vivid? It was like being in another world sometimes. But every time you woke up, there was always a feeling of something missing. You couldn't grasp onto why, but it was always a gut feeling that wouldn't leave no matter how much you ignored it. Maybe it was the wanting to explore the insides of your bizarre dreams more. Also, why did I just suddenly shout out my friend? <laughs> I don't really know. God, no one knows why I do have the things I do half the time, and neither do I. <sighs> Maybe it was the wanting to explore the insides of your bizarre dreams more. You never really ventured any further than the place your dreams spawned you in. Or perhaps you wanted something more from that dream. But what would have that been? Uh, hey, hey. Huh? Uh. You clutched the side of your head, the pain being excruciating. Your body as a whole started to tremble as you fell to your knees. It felt like static. Clawing at your legs while your mouth dry from breathing so heavily. As fast as the pain arrived, it immediately disappeared. Taking a few more breaths, you pulled yourself back together, stumbling a bit as you tried to regain your balance. Ah! Suddenly, your body collapses as everything felt numb. I do not speak emojis! I... I finally did! Do you think anyone would listen to it? I'm sure they will. It sounds... amazing. I... I hope so. We all gotta start somewhere. And no worries. I'll be your first listener. You... you don't have to. Um, 
Fight if it takes a while. It's not gonna blow up if no one sees it. I'll help you. Don't overthink it, silly. That's what friends are for. To support each other when we can. Yeah. <laughs> Trust in yourself a little more. Don't let your thoughts say otherwise either. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Yay! We're here again! Oh, where are we? Huh? He looked around, seeing nothing but an endless landscape of purple surrounding your vicinity. Weren't you in the woods? What is this place? Where? Where am I? You could feel panic starting to settle in, but was whiffed away by the calming scent of the flowers around you. The flower field seemed to stretch on and on no matter where you looked. As your eyes were sightseeing this strange place, your body began to move forward almost on its own. You couldn't tell if you should have been afraid or intrigued about your situation. It was as if your curiosity was brushing away any hint of fear that was calling out to you. Yet as you kept walking, you saw a forest up ahead. It was dark and empty. Only the sounds of rustling leaves were heard. Walking over to the forest edge, you could tell there wasn't a single sound of life inside. So your gut was telling you otherwise. Should you get closer? Yeah, cut! Oh, man, this is made an RPG maker, so I can't save. <gasps> yep, let's do it. Let's do it straight into danger! You took a step forward, only to be greeted by a gust of wind blowing you back as you fell to the ground. God damn it! You stood up as you dusted away the flower petals and grass that latched onto you and glared at the forest. Right, I got the hint. I'm leaving now. You turn around to basically run away, but hit yourself with something that wasn't there before. Uh -huh. <laughs> My, I found myself such a curious, silly cutie. Uh, my head! Where is my head? You looked up to see a tall man floating above you with a squinted smile. His hair waved around like a lava lamp as his singular cheeky eye stares down at you. Is that a clown? Jester? You couldn't tell what he was exactly, but he was... Oddly, very colorful. It was as if he was made from a children's book. My, you seem to be love struck. <laughs> but I don't mind. You jump away from him as he backs off with his hands up. Where's my head? Don't be alarmed. I ain't here to hurt you. I came here to help. What? He glides in front of you as confetti trails behind him. I'm a dream waker. I'm here to make sure all your dreamy needs are met before you wake up. He smiled even brighter as he jazzed his hands. Also, like, I know I have played the previous demo of this, but my eyes can't stop trailing down his hips. That tattoo is leading me to places so unholy. A what now? A dream waker! And you seem to need some fun. Have you been stressed? You look very stressed. <laughs> Confusion start to hit you like a brick, as now you're talking to a floating crown thing, a clown thing calling itself a dream waker. Whatever that even meant. So you're saying this is a dream? That's correct, sweetheart. And before you ask any more questions, you got a name. Why should I tell you? I just met you. Ah, so you don't have it. What? No, I do have one. My name is... My... My name... My name! What is my name? I... Don't remember. He chuckles and flips around to his back. Not losing eye contact. Ah, oh, so you lost your name. How sad. Why don't I give you one? Then, that makes an adorable sweet like you mine, doesn't it? I like you, unless you like being called 
other cute nicknames. Did I really dream up of such a weirdo? He stares excitingly, waiting for an answer. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't mind, like, if you want to own me, like, ooh, ooh, give me a name, give me a name, why don't you? He took a deep breath before answering him. For some reason, you felt uneasy from this decision. Well then, can you give me one? Before you could even finish, he lifts you up with a twirl, happily swaying you around like you weighed nothing. He chuckles at just, he chuckles at your reaction as he found it adorable. As he brings you down, his head touches yours as he looks into your eyes, giving you a gentle and happy smile. Luma. As if that name was a chain, you felt your neck tighten as your feet touched the ground. I made the wrong choice! I knew I shouldn't trust the Fae! Now that we solved the little issue, let's go to a place more comforting to your mind. You looked at him, confused. What do you mean by that? He picks you up and throws you into the air! Ah! What the hell are you doing? He only waves at you with a smile as they accelerate upwards into the night sky. This doesn't make any f like sense! Yeah! As you were internally screaming curses, you curled into a ball as you felt your heart sink from the gravity. Feeling your body start to fall, you close your eyes, bracing for a painful impact. But nothing happened. Now why are you sleeping on me? Open your eyes! Uh, I have questions. Ta-da! Hope you like it. I made it very comfy just for ya. Everything was so soft and warm. This place felt so fluffy. You could almost feel all your worries and fear melt away at this very moment. Squeak! You look down to see a colorful pile of what seemed to be fluffy cotton balls as they start jumping towards you. They began cuddling and snuggling at your legs as some were even climbing up to greet you. Squeak, squeak, squeak! Now, now, calm down, fellas. He floats down and gently glides, I mean, gently guides the fluffy creatures off of you. Some tumble off, causing a fluffy scatter paddock. Our guests might get overwhelmed, so be very polite, my friends. A symphony of sad little sighs could be heard as they all softly hop away. One of them was almost rolling away in tears. I apologize for their excitement. It's been a long while since they've seen a new face around here. He clasps his hands together as he leans his head to the side with a smile. But you'll get used to them. Oh, darling, I just remembered. I have a small little present for you. He places a small pouch onto your hand as he floats towards the fluffy creatures. And little snuffles love to entertain, so please try grabbing something in the little pouch I gave you. I'm sorry? He looked at the pouch, then back at the snuffles, jumping in and excitedly waiting. Go on! Just a small pinch will do. With a sigh, you stuck a finger inside and pulled out a miniature teapot? Huh. You walk over and kneel down to one of the snuffles and gave it to him. They squeak happily, showing the other snuffles as it rolls around celebrating. You couldn't help but smile a bit at how cute they were acting. And now, I'd recommend backing away, my dear. Well, <laughs> the snuffles start chanting, causing the little teapot to, you gave them to grow bigger and bigger. Before you could even move on your own, you felt a ribbon wrap around your waist before you were pulled away. The teapot grew and grew until it was the size of a house and plops onto the ground. The teapot slowly contorts its shape to form some windows and a door. The spouts of the pot puffed out glittery smoke as a fire could be heard inside, crackling. A light flickers on as the door opened to see a small kitchen with baking tools floating around inside. The snuffles hopped around the cheap the teapot, cheering as while well, some started fixing up the teapot, making sure it was clean and ready for their new guest. <laughs> that never gets old. 
He stared in amazement as words couldn't describe how you felt at the very moment. Ah, oh, my adorable Luma. I can't wait for you to play with us. He pats your head as the ribbon unfastens from your waist and twirls around back onto his arm. So, I do need to prepare some surprises for you, so why don't you explore around? It might be small, but with my little snuffles, uh, well, they could help you out with that. You'll be surprised at what they could create. <laughs> You're about to say something, but he shushes you by placing his finger on your lips. I know, you'll miss me, but... I'll be back before you know it, cutie. He boops your nose and vanishes as you were left dumbfounded. You touch your lips before wiping its touch away. What's with the- What's with this guy? Only did he fling you around like a yo-yo, but he had the audacity to just leave without explaining anything. You felt a small tug on your ankle as the little snuffles were trying to gain your attention. Some began to hop- into a direction while the others would push you to move your feet forward. Since this is a dream, might as well see what it had to offer, right? You follow the little puffballs as there wasn't really any option at this point. Off to an adventure! I guess. Heavy breathing could be heard as he clawed the walls of an endless void. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Oh, my dear, I've waited for so long. You have no idea. His heart was beating so loudly. It was like a drum was echoing throughout the empty realm. He touches his finger as he remembered your soft lips. He wanted to so badly kiss it with his own to know how it felt. But he resisted his temptations, as it wouldn't have been a great impression if he didn't leave at that very moment. His body started to pulse as his scar started to open slightly, as a sort of oozy tar starts to emerge. Enjoy the playground of your new home, my dear. A hole slowly opens from the darkness as he watches you from the abyss. Curse, this is only... The beginning. Oh! Whoa! Ho 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 ho! I am loving this. Anyway, that was the Eternal Dreamscape demo. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. Now, I think the developer did a good job with the remake. Now we've got a bit of a backstory as to who we are and uh, why we would even consider taking on... Uh, I I believe like the jester's name is Luma. Uh, Luma's uh, offer. I am really excited to see where this goes. Like this, this world, this character really intrigues me. And I really, really want to know more. But Jesus, I've got a couple more games uh, that I'm really excited to show you guys uh, real soon. You and him's coming out real soon, maybe in a couple of days. And I've also got a kid in the back uh, scheduled. So look forward to that. But in the meantime... Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.